Hey everyone, Tony D and little Joan here with a hot take, and I can't believe I have to do another hot take on Bill de Blasio, the uh, tyrant mayor of New York City. Man, is this guy, this guy, in my opinion, sucks so much at his job. The fact that I've done multiple videos mentioning him and chastising him, and I live in South Jersey, I don't live in New York, I don't go to New York all that often, but my God, man. Uh, this guy sucks. He sucks so much. Um, here he is refusing to give a timeline for return to indoor dining, dining in New York City. Dude, half of New York City is nothing but restaurants. I mean, you want to talk a about a place that needs restaurants. It's <laughs> New York City. Uh, I mean, I'm sure some of the places are surviving on takeout, but Jesus. And they can't really do a lot of outside dining. You know, I mean, I guess you got the sidewalk there. Uh, maybe you could allow some of that, but, uh, you know, uh, we saw that video recently in New York. The streets are empty. I mean, people are just surviving at this point. The Palazzo seems determined to destroy the city. I mean, you want to talk about a guy who just never should have been elected. And now this. Uh, the Blasio is not even, not only is, a, is he a hypocrite, just as a, a mayor, in my opinion, he's a hypocrite as a Marxist. <laughs> he, ha, he has his wife that has a staff, get this, she has a staff. Now, how many people, if you were a mayor of New York City, how many people do you think your wife would need to help her? Like, well, it, maybe one, maybe two. Yeah, if it went crazy, maybe it'd have four, you know, on rotating shifts. You know, it wouldn't be four altogether. It'd be like two and two for like the weekend and nights or something. She has a staff of 14 people. Now, it says here it cost a million, $1.1 million for the staff. But that's actually... Uh, it's actually closer to two million. Current and former employees in the mayor's staff and public records, McRae's staff makes closer to two million. Um, and one of the people, I gotta see if I can find the New York Post on this. One of the people, uh, let's see. One of the people is, uh, Let's see if I can buy wife. Uh, one of the people is a videographer. I can't even find it. One of the people is a videographer who gets paid 70K a year to shoot videos of his wife making cookies for YouTube, basically. I mean, and he is considering laying off 22,000 municipal workers. This is unbelievable that he would do this. That he would have his wife. 14 people. 14. It's, it's, it's just an outrage. She has become the modern Marie Antoinette. <laughs> uh, if if uh, King Louis was a commie, which de Blasio totally is. He's, a, he's, a, he's an outright communist. He's trying to reshape the city in his own image. He's basically Jeremy Corbyn. Thank God he's only a mayor. Uh, imagine if this guy got any traction running for office. Holy cow. I mean, pretty much Bernie blunted any chance of him on the national stage. but And he had no chance because who the hell knows Bill de Blasio outside of New York. But now... <clears throat> it's just unbelievable. This is who you elected, New York? Bill de Blasio? Rampant communist? Who has a staff of 14 people for his wife. I don't have any respect for this guy. At least if he was a communist and like he came out and he was in a bad suit and he was poor and his wife and his kid, <coughs> you know, didn't have much of a staff and they really lived a humble life. 
I'd say, well, you know, I don't agree with the guy's policy, but I could respect that he lives like a commie. <laughs> you know, he lives in a little communal thing. He turns the uh, Gracie Mansion into like a com commune where all all the all of his staff live, and uh, you know, they're real inclusive, and they all live together, and they share share uh, duties and. You got pictures of de Blasio doing the laundry every once in a while, stuff like that. But no, he's got a staff of 14 people, $70,000 to shoot YouTube videos. That, that Let me tell you how much that, that doesn't make any sense. She's trying to shoot, I assume, YouTube videos to show how, like, of the people she is. <laughs> right? So you want it to look homey and, like, like YouTube videos, right? So you don't want it to look all slick and highly produced. You don't want it to ha to be perfectly lit. You want it to be half-ass. You don't want it to be professional. Professional, that's not how YouTube is. You start professional in YouTube, people tune you out. Because that's not what they want. They want to feel like they're watching some regular person making YouTube videos, right? I mean, you could see professional lighting you know, just turn on regular TV. And it's seven, the guy makes 70, or girl, or whomever, makes 70K a year. Now, maybe that's not a lot in New York City, considering, but still, that's a good gig. It's not, it's not chump change. Just to light, just to shoot cookie recipes for the mayor's wife? Are you out of your mind? He is, he is gone, man. You know, it'd be one thing, ah, she's got a driver and a cook and a personal assistant. I wouldn't condone it, but I could see it in New York. You know, it's a busy city, one of the biggest cities in the United States, the biggest city in the United States. Maybe, you know, she'd need a driver, certainly. She'd need a cook, you know, and she does do other things in like mental health, but not officially. And, and now she's a contender for the Brooklyn presidency. I didn't realize Brooklyn had a president. Um, so what what is this? You, you're getting used to living off the taxpayers. You're going to slide right into another gig. So you and uh, 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 de Blasio can continue to live high on the hog in Manhattan or Brooklyn or, where, or one of the five boroughs keep eating eating on the taxpayer's dime while you gut the city of business and and tax revenue. I, I hope you stay in New York City. I hope you do stay. I hope you're there for the collapse. I hope you're there when they're not picking up your garbage and the unions are like fuming at you, right? I hope you're there. I hope for, you're there as the crime just escalates. I hope you you stay there. De Blasio, if anybody deserves to live in the mess he made, it's Bill De Blasio. Oh, the voters can't wait to be rid of you. You, if any mayor should be recalled, if any, you know, any politician currently in office right now, and I say this above Ted Wheeler and Jenny Durkin out west, Bill De Blasio, numero uno. He is much worse because when you look at Portland and Seattle, at least when you look at those cities, you can say, well, that's what they wanted. And that's those cities were kind of, eh, they were kind of grungy to begin with. Not New York City, man. New York City is too important to the nation as a whole. There's too much money involved. And well, New Yorkers did vote for it, but they didn't really... I don't think New Yorkers expected it because I think New Yorkers kind of kind of just said, ah, oh, well, we'll vote for it, but we never get it. And these guys aren't that unreasonable. Congratulations, you finally got a commie. You finally got a commie. He played the game. He changed his name. He, he, he went in as a Democrat, but really, he's an outright communist. Because we all know if he had called himself a communist, you never would have voted for him. But since he called himself a Democrat, there you go. So, my advice to 
you know, my 1,800 plus listeners, uh, if you live in New York, get out. Just get the F out. There's no reason to stay there unless, you know, I guess if your job's there and yet you have no other place to go. But, man, uh, it's, you know, if you can uh, uh, do your work from a laptop or whatever, get out. Get the F out. Get far away from the cities. They're just going to get worse and worse. And de Blasio is the absolute worst. It's going to be interesting to see what happens to him post-election. Will Trump do something? He says he is. Says he's going to save New York. I hope he does. I hope he goes after de Blasio. I hope there's some federal indictment and I hope they kick him right out of office. He is so deserving of that. 